says the city for so long has relied on a private ambulance company for transportation, but now the city feels its own ambulance service is needed, and this is for better response times and to take care of the people who live there. Scottsdale's population has boomed within recent years, with nearly 4.8 million visitors coming to the city just in 2022. But for first responders, the growth can be a lot to handle. Uh, we look at roughly about 29,000 EMS calls that our crews are dispatched on every single year. And of those 29,000, 18,000 of them are transported to local emergency rooms every year. That's why Scottsdale Fire got approval from the city council to start its own ambulance service. Yeah, I think it's really kind of a breath of fresh air for us. Um, this is something that we organizationally have been, have been looking at for a long time, probably over the last 10 years or so. Ambulance services were provided by Rural Metro until 2005 when the city started using a third party company, Maricopa Ambulance. When the city took over fire services in 2005, that process was essentially broken and it separated the ground transport service into private sector and the fire service into municipal. Now, with a $1.6 million startup budget, Scottsdale Fire will be purchasing four ambulances and hiring nearly 20 new employees before hitting the road. Because of the other ramp up procedures, getting these ambulances ready, getting the personnel trained, getting the support staff, getting all of the things in line in order to have a successful operation, it's going to take us till most likely the end of December, perhaps even the beginning of January 2025. With this new service, Scottsdale Fire hopes this will help with response times. So it really allows us to streamline our operation, make our operation more efficient so we can respond more efficiently, we can provide the appropriate resources at the appropriate emergencies to make sure that the citizens, visitors, residents of the city of Scottsdale get the absolute best service that we think they deserve. And currently, Scottsdale Fire is now beginning the long process of hiring and training the employees. And all they need right now is just that certificate from the state health department to finally start yeah. operating. Yeah. So again, December or January, they're looking at. Okay.